Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna take a look at a 2024 Jayco Whitehawk, model number 29BH. It's got double over double bunks in the back, a full size slide out on the side, outside kitchen, separate front bedroom, weighing just over 7,000 pounds. It's an awesome trailer. Let's send it, I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Hanemeyer on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thanks so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. This is a beautiful unit, front cap, bringing in some awesome natural light, high-end finishes for Jayco here. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd very much appreciate it. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, we're on them all. You gotta check us out there as well. Enjoy this video. Right on, Brent. I said just over 7,000 pounds, didn't I? Yeah, it's just under. Just under 7,000 pounds. Front power jack, 30 pumper paint tanks, a battery in a box provided by Lazy Acres, gonna go in behind those for paint tanks. Great looking new exterior for 2024, eh, Brennan? Yeah, they went a little more, I don't know, dark? A little, a little less swooshy? Less swooshy, more monochromatic. That's perfect. Great word. Great looking front windshield there over top of your front bed. We still got those cool looking eyebrow lights. Nice little blue lights here at the bottom too. And it's a cap. So it's not going to kind of distort or, or uh, you know, change form as you, on you as you go down the road. A great pass through storage, great width, great height, battery disconnect. There's a light on either side. And then we have jacks here underneath. They're manual jacks. That's a three quarter inch drive. So you can bring those down with the drill pretty easily. That's a rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. A little bonus storage here underneath our U-shaped dinette. 15 inch tires in through here. Goodyear endurance tires, aluminum rims, standard suspension, but there's a good uh, spread on those axles. So you're going to get a nice secure stance as you go down the road. Sewer drain here down below. 30 amp detachable style cord, cable satellite inlet, and then we have our black water flush kit and our city water connection right over there. Full size spare, we're gonna put a beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there for you. And then we've got a bike door right here, Brendan. So we can open this door up, flip this bunk in, drive some bikes, uh, bring some larger kind of uh, storage items in through here underneath the kids' bunks. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one-piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. And then here in our outside kitchen, we have a two cubic foot electric fridge. There's a shelf right in through here, USB and receptacle. And then there's this little bracket here, Brennan. That's gonna fit right in through here. And then we're putting our griddle that's gonna hook up to our outside gas port all in through here. Nice and convenient outside kitchen. There's no sink, but there is that outside shower that you can use to wash off those dishes. We have a lend a hand grab handle, three step entrance up and in. Um, that's a nice secure grab handle. Our electric awning starts here, goes all the way forward. Doesn't quite cover our secondary door, but still a good awning coverage there. LED lights in that awning. Furion on-demand water heater, furnace vent out in through here, fresh water fill, and then we do have a manual override for our rack and pinion style slide. Outside speakers, rain should vent, and then a secondary door. Now the secondary door, the key point to that is it gets us to our bedroom here with the slide out closed. And then if we come back down into the main door, this is all with the slide out closed. We can still get to our bathroom right in through here easily. And then we can slide down here, and it's not too tight actually. We can slide right down in through here, get to our fridge, get to all of our living stuff, all with the slide out closed. Let's get this opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that 29BH. I'm coming in the main door here, right by the bunks. You're looking at the kitchen in through here, and this is a redesigned kitchen. A little more counter space here between the sink and the oven, a large amount of drawers here down below as well. As we get into open these cupboards, we've got a big cupboard here for pots and pans, whatever you want to use in through there. Another cupboard door on this side. This is actually access to uh, uh, maybe the water pump. What we got going on there, Brennan? Oh, that's the back of the water heater. This panel is going to cover that up. That's just off there for maintenance. We've got three drawers here. Two of them are normal size. Bottom one's large size. And then we've got a big pot and pan drawer right through there. Nice blue lights here on the oven knobs. Our oven itself. 
glass stove top cover. But yeah, I love this extra bit of counter space. It seems like we got, we have a mobile charging station here, power of power, bingo bango, kitchen window, and then large covers here across the top for all kinds of plates and cups and whatnot. We have our Furion microwave, and then we have our 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. This is one of those new fridges that's gonna open up from either side, which is pretty slick. So if you're coming from the bedroom in the middle of the night, open it from that side, easy peasy. And then we get into our uh, entertainment center. Our TV is directly across from our couch in through here. We could always do a theater seat if you want to. TV's right there, radio's right there, cupboard space there. Fireplace could put up some good electric heat. There's space underneath that fireplace to kick off your shoes and flip-flops. And then a set of covers here across the top as well. Now flipping over into our main slide, this is a tri-fold style sofa. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. Like I mentioned, you could do a theater seat in here if you want to. We got windows here out in the slide. Further to your left, there's a U-shaped dinette that's gonna go down into a bed for you. Because it's a U-shape, it makes for a nice longer bed. And then you can actually seat a bunch of people in through there. And again, nice windows there out in the slide with some cupboard space underneath each side. And then don't forget, we have the outside storage into the back side of that U-shaped dinette. And then this is still part of the kitchen because it's across. We have our pantry location here. More of that same down in through there. Now here at the back, we have our bunks. Let me pull that across for you. Each bunk has a window. Each bunk has receptacle USB and that netting. And then there's that storage from the outside we talked about. If you're not using that for outside storage, you can just you know throw the kids clothes and duffel bags underneath there as well. And that's always nice to have a built-in ladder. A lot of times that's something you gotta kind of buy it for yourself, right B? Oh yeah, I tell people Amazon all the time. Amazon all the time. Now, porcelain toilet in through here, the dump truck fits. You know it's a small little thing here B? They put a countertop piece on the top of that little bulkhead there. What's running in there is your plumbing. But just so that's not like a, a piece that you're gonna wear all the time, they put a little countertop piece on top of that, that's cool. Small cupboard there, undermount plastic sink. Oh, I thought there'd be LED lights in behind there, Brenna. That's too bad. Nice medicine cabinet, bathroom window, and then uh, sliding glass doors in through here. I'm six feet tall. You can see I fit in this shower quite easily. There's a nice uh, night light there too, so you can leave that on at night. And then we got this little space here, tang towels, put your soaps and whatnot. Feeling good with the living space and bunks, Brennan? I am. Anything else you want to touch on? I'm just showing off this beautiful skylight. Good work, Brennan. Into the bedroom now, the main bedroom, we have a optional king size bed. And a lot of times the bedrooms feel really tight when you do that. Now it doesn't in here, eh? No, it's good. Feels really good. I think part of that's because we got windows on both sides. We got that front windshield as well. Feels like there's lots of space. And a little side note, this mattress is actually decent. A lot of, you know, most trailer mattresses suck. So it's nice that that one's good. Hanging storage on the left-hand side. And then same thing over here on the right-hand side. We got those co uh, cool little cubbies there where you can store your phone, glasses, glass of milk, whatever. And then check out this additional storage we have in here. Uh, motion sense of light. We can pull those shelves out if you want. And then four drawers down below there. There's a drawer below the bed too. On your side and my side? Your side for sure. Let's see if there's on your side. Uh, yep, there's a drawer over here. Right on, buddy. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.